What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to New Woodshire. We are in our case Puma because something has happened. We'll we'll get to that. We were fertilizing. Something bad happened. I need to rescue a tractor. Not only that, I was like, well, while we're over here, let's go ahead and pick up a few things that we've been saving up for. And those are, well, it, rather, is the new case. Yeah, check this guy out right here. So we've got new headers for this now. We've got a brand new 5.5 meter header for it. So I figured, I was like, well, while we're at it, let's just go ahead and get it. On top of that, we've got a brand new Flegel. This has been leased and this stole has been leased. This log grab is what we're gonna use to rescue, well, what we got going on. We've got uh, we've got this guy right here. We got the Puma. That's what we're gonna try and use, and that's what we're gonna pull everything with. So we've got to hook this up first. We used to not have a front loader on here. However, we have had to go in and edit this guy a little bit and customize it to where we can put the front loader on. And let's grab a hold and let's go ahead and lower the back. Now we do have to do this manually. We can't just hit a button and it do it itself. We actually have to hit that. Oh yeah. I'm so excited to have this guy right here. The only thing that I'm a little concerned about is how we're gonna get everything on the trailer. I'm worried that we're not gonna be able to make certain turns with this guy on here, with this header. Um, we're, we're gonna try to make it happen because once we get it up to the farm we're gonna be fine but until we get it up to the farm we may have some issues let's see also this eh, yeah it's it's wide enough it's it's gonna it's gonna work it's gonna work so let's take that let's lower the header down let's kind of bring everything down into itself about right uh, right there I believe that's gonna be about as good as it gets Oh, we're starting to fall off the side. Tell you what, can we please make a low loader that's wide enough for a harvester? Yeah, maybe, maybe not. Give it a try. Give it a try and see. How about that? Let's uh, let's go ahead and open that up and let's bring this. And we're getting a little bouncy. Getting a little bouncy. Let's drop first up. Let's drop that off and let's put this stole on the front. You may be asking again, why are we doing this? <laughs> why are we why are we doing everything the hard way? Well, today's been bad. Off screen, I was over fertilizing the field that we planted yesterday, the oats field. And because of that, something fell off, and I bet this is gonna fall off of here as soon as we get out and about. Hopefully it's kind of got a lock mechanism. We're gonna lower lock that down just in case, but I seriously, seriously doubt that this has an auto locking mechanism. Now, because it's a low loader, it may, not likely. I'm also going to avoid going right, right here, because I don't think this header is going to make it across. I just don't trust it. Not at all. So we're going to go this way, at least for now. So let's get this over to the main farm and, uh, Hopefully we get zero drama. We're going to have to take all these turns extremely slowly. If you guys are curious about this trailer right here, this is the new Flegel. Actually, we got to turn, uh, turn the four ways on there. This trailer right here just came out. It came out, uh, I believe it was yesterday when you guys are seeing this video. Really cool trailer. Really cool low loader. I'm digging it. I really am. I really, really like this guy. So that's why we've got it. I think it works perfect. Again, we've leased. We do not own this. Oh, this is going to be a bad turn. Come on. Be good for me. Be good for me. Yeah. That turned all right. I'm digging it. I am digging it. So, oh man, we're going to have to take all these turns, aren't we? Oh, boy. Let's see. What if we just follow the way the truck? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we definitely need to make these wider. Much, much wider. Come on. Oh, this harvester, too. We're still getting over here quicker than we would with a harvester with a trailer on it. This thing goes 14 miles an hour. It does not like to go anywhere 
in a quick manner. Not at all. Tell you what, we're going to avoid turning there as well. We do have a grass field up here still. I have yet to figure out what to do with this grass field. So if you guys have any ideas, drop down in the comment section below. Let me know, what would you do with this grass field right here? Also, we made $242,000 off of everything that we sold yesterday. So we have spent some of it. Again, this harvester did cost us some money. Uh, and of course, we had to spend some money to lease all this equipment. So we're back under a million dollars, but we did pretty well. Now, what happened? Well, I was driving and we were fertilizing the field over there. And I looked down for a second. And then that happened. So we're going to put a fence up later. Yeah. <laughs> but until we get that fence up, we got to go rescue. Oh, we got all these cows in here too. I got to figure out what to do with the cows. And if not, we're just going to drive straight through them. I don't even think we can get a vehicle in here. So we're going to have to figure that out as well. Everything's unloaded. Now it's time for the rescue. Again, I don't believe there's anywhere that we can... Oh, that's bad. I don't think there's anywhere we can get in there. Oh. The gate is... Stopping me? I'm so confused about what's going on with that gate right now. Anyway, so it looks like we can get through there. Um, please ignore the fact that I'm killing all of these guys. Yeah, move. All right. Let's... Uh oh, that's a bad view, isn't it? Let's open this up. There we go. Hopefully we can just grab this guy and lift it out. At least that's the game plan. Oh, nope. Um, oh, it's just like stuck on there. Oh no, we may have to reset this. I was hoping we wouldn't have to reset it. Oh, we just killed a cow. Is there anything? Could we like pick this up all the way maybe? Let's see, let's try from back here. Maybe, uh, let's lift from down below and let's see if we can get one of these wheels. Oh, this is not happening at all. It is glitchy a little bit, it's kind of glitchy. Oh, oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Oh no, oh, I can't back up, something's stuck. Oh, there we go. Um, oh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe it got itself unstuck. Let's see. That was weird. Let's see. Can we get this thing unstuck? Let me know what you guys will do. Most people will just reset at this point. I don't want to reset. I want to make it happen. Come on. There's that. <laughs> There's that. Can we just get in it and drive it off of here now? Let's see. Uh... Still stuck, unfortunately. We don't have a wheel on the ground. Let's drop that and see if we can push ourselves off of here. Yeah! And we got it back on. Sweet! All right. We're good. We've saved ourselves. <laughs> That's just so stupid. Oh, me, oh, my. So we got that. Let's uh, realistically drive out of here as one does. And let's get this put back away because soon that field's gonna be ready to go. Now, a couple of you guys in the previous video had mentioned, you know, DJ, why don't you get the modded version of the chicken farm? Because it seems like there's just not enough room on the farm, the farm that we're on anymore. And you're absolutely right. There's just no room on here at all. And I have done a bit of fiddling off screen and I had a couple ideas. And today, today, we are going to make those ideas happen. While we're here, let's go ahead and return the log fork so we don't have to pay for it anymore. Bring it down. Now, where are we gonna put this? We are gonna, oh, this is just a crash city, isn't it? We are going to put the new chicken coop over here on the right. We've got a couple things right here. You see these guys right here? We've got a couple little small fields. Well. What we're gonna do is we're gonna bring everything around up, the ground around it. We're gonna bring everything up and we're gonna bring, we kind of make a wall over there, kind of like we've done over there by the other animals. And we're gonna place down the new chicken pen. And I think with the way it is, we should be able to get around everything and not have to cut any trees down. We may still have to cut one or two, but 
I think we can get away with it. <laughs> I just took a screenshot of this. I, was, I thought it was funny. A little case looking on to the, the picture of his dad on the screen going, One day I'll grow up to be strong like my dad. I don't know. Pretty funny. You know be nice? You know be real nice? Get one of these on here. Yeah. Case with wheels. Please, modders. We, we want one so bad. I'm so tired of having a bunch of harvesters with tracks on them. We don't have many of those over here. Most of them have wheels on them. Yeah, yeah. Here's what we got. What we're going to do is we're going to flatten this out. We're going to dig a hole. We're going to kind of block this off right here. Think about right there. Maybe even come up a little bit closer to it. We're going to flatten it all out. How about this? Let's do... Let's get an aerial shot going on. And let's run over here and just give you guys like an overview. A before and after, if you will. So here's our before. And before you do anything, you need to save the game because you're going to mess it up. Probably. Likely. Here we go. Jumping right in. This whole thing's about to be cut up. So let's find uh, let's find an area that works for us. I think this, uh, probably like right here. I think this is good. So let's grab that and let's go sculpting. And you know what? That might be a little little low so let's take that and just cut right into the mountain right there just like that again I don't know how far I want to go let's let's just say let's start there for now all right so we're cutting in here oh that trees there ain't it we'll we'll fix we'll fix that oh man this is the the toughest part when you get into this and it's it just starts cutting in and then it jumps up the side of the mountain. There we go. There's good. That's good. That's good. We're good here. And let's take this kind of rock along the edge. Again, we got a lot of work to do with this. This is not going to be a quick fix. Oh, no. Actually, not too bad. That's not that bad. We can we can fix that. There we go. <laughs> not, not too bad. Not too bad. Again, let's cut into the side right there we're probably not going to be going too much further than that again nice and easy there we go that's about as far as we want to go into that and then boop just a little bit like that not too much not too crazy let's wait till we get to the end of the field there we go there's the end of our field flatten that out again i try and do as much of this kind of uh in screen if you will as possible because I know you guys like seeing everything and so I try and show as much as possible so we'll come through here we'll flatten everything out uh, see this we may we'll come through and just kind of give it a little flat and then make this look good right there the big thing is this has to stay we have to be able to get up and down About right there smooth that and smooth into here Give that a little bit of flat. Perfect. I like that. This right here, I don't like so much. Let's bring that down and then give it some smoothness to it. Again, like I said, I try and do as much of this on screen as I can because I know you guys like seeing this. I love terraforming and a lot of people are scared of it. I absolutely love terraforming. So there's that. I'm not sure I want to go any further in. Maybe one more chomp. <laughs> Excuse me. One, <coughs> man. One more chomp into the mountain just like that. Again, we don't want to go too far, but I want to give it enough to where it's like nom. Just like that. Perfect. Oh, no. A little too far. It's okay. There we go. There's that. Again, one more little chomp in. Did it do it? Oh, it did it. I didn't even see it do it. And then we need to go into the wall here. Just like that. Oh, too much. Darn it. Um, can we fix that? Can we fix this? Um, actually, yeah. Yeah, we can. That fixed it. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to stay away from it now. Let's get all this flattened out. I'm going to paint it. And then we're going to come through and we're going to place the animal bin down. And there you have it. There is our new area. 
We've kind of chomped into it, flattened it all out, got it exactly the way we want to. There's two things that I don't like the way they are right now, and we will come through and fix them later. First is this tree right here. Uh, I like the way this looks. I don't want the tree there, so we're going to find a way to get rid of that tree. Also, we have a stump right here that's floating. Again, we're not going to worry about it right now, but eventually I do want to get that taken care of. So, animal pens first up. Let's take a look at the large chicken coop, see how it would fare here. And it doesn't fare so good, does it? Not, uh, not at all, actually. Let's see if we can get it up just a bit. It's going to go into the mountainside back there. And we won't be able to feed them like this. So unfortunately, with unless we get rid of these trees that are here, we're not going to be able to use this large chicken coop. So we could put this down or we could use the end game one. Now the end game one, we can't get in and mess with the... Uh, so this guy right here, that's what I'm talking about. We can only put down a certain amount of eggs before this starts going haywire. However, with this one, which is really neat, we could put down two of these. So it we start to run into the issue there of, well, do we, how do we want to do that? So I say we do put down two of these. I say we get two of these and we get them just right. And then we'll come through and kind of make everything work well with it. Let's see. Let's find where it starts to go up and down on sides. About right there. Get everything to show. Bring it all the way up. Pow! What? Something purchased. Can't, can't do something about it. What? Object can't be purchased. Please try again. Yeah, see, what's... What's going on with these these chicken things? I was like, I put one there, can't I? Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, definitely not what I wanted to do. Look, look, this is... That's not good. Bad chicken coop. And that, my friends, is why we saved the game. So let's go in and let's check... The end game one. I know we said that this probably won't work. I don't own this land. I don't want to own that land. So we're good. Drop it down. Uh, let's see. Move it until it gets kind of weird. Right there. Just so. Until the you don't own this land thing goes away. And then. Move it back a little oh this is so tough to do all right so that's where it starts to creep up let's try right here oh it worked and it didn't cause that much trouble oh that actually caused a lot of trouble didn't it yeah yeah it did <sighs> Let's try it again. All right, before I get myself into any more terraforming trouble and problems at all, here we are. I'm saving the game so you know this is legit. We've got two of these down here, so we're going to have two sets of 495 chickens. So was that a nine, 990? God, did math on screen. I'm sorry, guys. We've got our wall up here. Which is looking good. We need to put something here. We'll fix that off screen. We've done grass all the way around. We've got our chickens here. It is a little bit raised. The uh, The pickups are a little bit raised because I did drop the ground just a little bit. It is kind of weird. If, it, if it's annoying, let me know. Actually, you know what? We could probably fix that right now. Start landscaping. Here we go. We're going to mess it all up again. Uh, let's go into sculpting and let's find that ground. That's the ground that we want. Bring it up to it. So it looks like that's a little, just a little too, uh, yeah, that's the area right there that we want. So nothing too crazy. Let's smooth all that out. Hopefully that fixed, uh, fixed any little 
crazy funky issues that we're having, which we're not having any issues. So we're going to buy some chickens. We're going to go in here, open that up, open this guy up right here. We're going to buy the most amount of chickens that we can, which is going to be 990 chickens. We're going to feed these guys up. We're going to fill them up. Each one will only produce 10 boxes of eggs. Keep that in mind, 10 boxes of eggs, which is going to be ridiculous. Nonetheless, we are going to take those 10 boxes and we're going to get those 10 boxes quickly. We will be getting eggs uh, more than twice as fast as we were to begin with. So we're going to have to clean them out quite a bit. I did leave room around the back here in order to get back here and feed them because we're going to have to come back here and feed them versus drive in the front because the eggs are going to take up all the space right here. Nonetheless... That is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If not, please subscribe. If you got any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help you guys out. If you got any ideas for this map, drop those in the comment section as well. I'm looking forward to trying some new stuff. We're having a little bit more fun with this map, but we're getting ready to uh, we're getting ready to need to do um, money, money. Yeah, yeah. We got four hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars, and we were up to about two million at one point. So. That being said, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace!